Hey y'all, uh, went ahead and uh, couldn't, I uh, had to break them testos out, I had to see what they do, so. Hell, I went ahead and put them on my personal unit. Uh, you know, I did the old subcooling method to it uh, uh, with just my regular manifold and my field piece and, you know, got my saturation temperature, you know the, you know the drill. But uh, anyway, I thought I was kind of tuned in. This, uh, this American Standard heat pump here requires 10 degrees subcooling and uh, I can be plus or minus three on it. However, I guess the testos do not lie. Um, when I did it, uh, when I first put them on here, uh, I was reading like 8.99, 8.99, you know, fluctuating in between there. So I decided to add some refrigerant to it. And I've got her up to, uh, I guess she's fluctuating in between 11 and 12. You know, like I said, I'm allowed, you know, plus or minus three here. However, um, I must have dumped about a half a pound in her. And here we go. Here's the here's the key with these testos, man. Uh, my subcooling, you know, of course went up, but my superheat and my pressures, uh, it's, you know, it just ain't taking the liquid. So I'm thinking I probably, uh, just ain't taking the refrigerant. I'm sorry. Let me rephrase that. Um, it took it, but it didn't. It didn't raise my pressure any, or my, or, or my lower my, uh, lower my temperatures. See, I'm reading my T1 right there at 67 degrees, and my T2, which is uh, suction line temperature, is T1 is 66.19 or 0.9, and T2, which is the liquid. Uh, side of it is 83.5 now like I said uh, I dumped some uh, refrigerant in it and you know that should have brought the uh, the temperature down on my suction side just a little bit and that pressure should have shot up you know I mean heck it was like you know actually we had a nice day here today but uh, it was like 85 and it was like 70 something in the house so uh, but you know the, the pressures didn't go up nor the temperature lowered so here it is a telltale sign of not a stuck TXV but I'd say it's just not throttling correctly or I've got a uh, a bad dryer and I'm hoping it's not the dryer because it's kind of a pain in the butt to get to in there um, parts house is open tomorrow from about 7 30 to 11 so if y'all stay tuned uh, I'll uh, I'll update you on it there's the evaporator condenser temperatures. I guess that's delta T 16.8. And superheat now is at 34.7. And subcooling's at uh, 10.9. You know, it's fluctuating in between 10 and 11. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty damn close. I, you know, uh, I'm not going to split hairs on it. But uh, anyway. Uh, I reckon I'll holler at y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, uh, we're down here at my coil. I reckon I'll just uh, I'll cut it here above my door, and I'll take these uh, two five sixteens out and just pop that out. And I didn't. This ain't glued, so that'll just pop right out. Uh, I reckon I'll cut it here, coupling it back. Could have made that a little longer but anyway I reckon I'll cut her here and just rework my tea and all that hell I've got plenty of that stuff out in the truck no big deal okay we can get my model and serial number on there Okay, yeah, I'll do this first thing in the morning. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's not, uh, I mean, it's, it's cooling, but, you know, it's not what it's supposed to be, you know, and, uh, I guess the test does tell you, so, okay, I reckon, uh, we'll, uh, have part two of this, and, uh, as soon as I get to the parts house tomorrow morning, we'll have this puppy installed and 
then we'll check it again. All right, later.